Hi everybody, um, Ocean Camera Space Corp. Uh, looking at the laptop repair here, we're going to see if uh, see what's wrong with the laptop. Um, this was uh, over there at the remote camera site and got a bunch of uh, moisture damage. This is uh, you can see hey, hey everybody, I, I'm I'm uh, Nathan Cohurst. I'm here working on his laptop today. Um, so what what we came across was uh, he had left his uh, unit out there, his uh, laptop streaming and recording for y'all. Um, and overnight, I mean, it is an extremely rough environment. So you've got not only the salt water, but the salt moisture that's in the air, plus very fast condensation, dew points, stuff like that, where you uh, it gets hot and it gets really cold really fast. So this ends up uh, building up a lot of condensation on the inside unit. You can see right here, there's there's some corrosion all over these parts. Um, in this area, there's a lot of heavy corrosion. Fortunately, on the bottom of the board, it's clean. Um, but, uh, and a lot of the other components like the memory, your hard drive and stuff like that, they seem to be good. But uh, one of the worst components I see is actually where the keyboard plugs in and specifically on this laptop, the power button is located on the keyboard. So uh, we're, we're hoping that it's, it's, just, it's just that problem. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is do an alcohol scrub, which is something that I've used in order to uh, bring up a, or revive computers, circuitry, electronics of any kind. Um, and the idea is to basically displace any kind of moisture or corrosion by using the alcohol and then evaporating it at a controlled uh, rate so that uh, you're, you're able to try to recover your, your stuff. Um, of course, using regular water or anything like that with contaminants, just it doesn't cut it because, well, you're just introducing more minerals into your problem. So uh, we've already pulled the laptop apart. And uh, right now we're currently doing the scrub portion of it. And I've got my, my heat gun right here uh, waiting for us. Let me get it hot so we can do that. Yeah. Yeah, leave this up there. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah okay. Well, you can clip it to this. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right. So everybody, um, yeah. This is uh, what's happening. Nathan, you want to say, can I say where you worked and everything? Oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah, you can. You can Nathan's the CTO here, at, uh, or Joseph is the CTO here at Ocean Camera Space Corp. And um, uh, he's uh, an engineer as well as um, says uh, he worked at Dell for a while doing laptop repair also. So that's a good, uh, a good happening that um, he's here to be able to maybe check out the, and maybe just see what's well not maybe but definitely see see what the situation here for the laptop is and uh, maybe we'll get it going again was the maybe so we'll see that's looking good usually between surfaces between things like this plastic and i don't i don't do a lot of inside recording so i don't know how things have work in the inside <laughs> yeah i don't know how the quality is but okay no that's okay yeah. uh hopefully it'll So we try to do like one quadrant at a time or just a certain area at a time so that we're able to evaporate the alcohol and the uh, water content evenly at the same time. If, you, if they evaporate at different times, then what ends up happening is that they just end up redepositing the minerals uh, that you had... Uh, that you have just scrubbed off and they redeposit them on the highest surfaces which is where the metal points are and you kind of want those deposits to end up straight on this insulated part uh, rather than the components themselves so this is a heat gun he just added alcohol and that was to dissolve any uh, solidified contents from the water you said or the moisture or something nice yeah yeah and now the heat gun is just to take away any uh, like you just said awesome I don't know how, how well we can see something on here, but you can see, um, Isn't it? 
Let's see, I'm trying to look. Because this looks clean now. I can't even see a spot uh, uh -huh. where it's... Okay, so you can see where that corrosion was over here, and it was all over these contacts. But now we can see all those contacts again. I guess one of the worst ones we all remembered was... It was that chip, but it's already cleaned up. Oh, wow. You can see there's no more corrosion there anymore. Okay. Maybe. But I am going to go over it again because I didn't have the heat gun yet. Okay. When you're done, we'll put it on camera and take a look again. Cool. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> How much is spam? We're looking at the guy. No, the the your the, yeah. the comment from the right. <laughs> twelve people. Twelve people watching. Right now. Awesome. Were, I think they were twenty something before. So it's okay to use a toothbrush to uh, clean down the board, huh? They, yeah. Wow. Everybody, that's pretty awesome. I mean, if, if your components are so flimsy, you know, if it's gotten to the point where the corrosion's gotten so bad that it's eating through the solder, dude, it's toast anyway. Yeah, okay. But surface mount devices are pretty, pretty damn resilient when it comes to this. And um, I mean, they go through a process right after they're manufactured. You know, somebody gets down there and they scrub all that extra. Because these things look terrible when they're, after they're done being uh, flowed, after they're done being flowed, you just have all this this white crap all over it. Um, but so someone has to go in there and scrub it all away. And this is actually, a, it is a surface mount uh, soldering station. So that's that's specifically what this is for, is uh, for the surface mount components. Boy, you live and learn every day, yeah. man. It's the first uh, live stream we're doing here. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. My house is a mess. I have had COVID for the last two weeks. I am negative now, and I've been negative for about a week now, so I'm clear. I'm cool. Our ocean cam uh, captain here is, is, is not going to be out of business, hopefully. Or else I'm going to be up in those dunes freaking recording. And to be honest, that's that's hard work. I, I don't even I don't even want to go there. Like I don't know how Paul does it, but um, it took a while to get it to become normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It takes a it takes passion though. Yep. You know. Yeah, Richard said. Hopefully, the laptop doesn't get the virus. <laughs> 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 You have to get it vaccinated with McAfee. Yeah, right. He said, uh, I think he said on one of those later streams that the his software doesn't really work anymore, is what he said. <laughs> Dude, they started viruses. finding, they started finding copies of, uh, they are, uh, okay, so they're offering McAfee, but it comes with a coin miner built in. But if you don't know that, it automatically mines for itself. <laughs> what kind of scam is that, man? Mm. 
you can see that the liquid actually sheeting away. chip right here that's in question mostly and this connector right here awesome. and, uh, well, well hopefully I didn't short it out priorly in some situation and uh, this will do the job oh I hope so too man mm -hmm. there's no way to detect that now huh? you just gotta see if it works or not and, yeah you know, yeah at this point there's so many things that could go wrong right. and maybe sometime we get an overhead camera in here or something like that and look down huh Is that yeah i really do i would i would like one of those little uh like specimen cameras you know that can come down yeah. and it's just got a thing and it's got a macro lens on it or something. Right. Uh, Biyuki, uh, he wore a mask for a while, so yeah, uh, he's clearly good, good to go now though. Oh yeah, no, I was extremely, uh, I was extremely careful and I still right now when I leave the house and I'm around other people, like, cause I mean, I'm in my house right now. But when I'm around other people in public and stuff, I'm still wearing my mask. Um, simply because, you know, I've got my mom. My mom's at her house and I visit her almost daily. And uh, there's just no telling, you know, the possibilities that I could run into out there. Even if it's just the flu or not COVID, it's anything else. I just don't want to get my mom sick. And right now, everybody's getting sick. I do get... Um... Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to continue with that, I'll have to say goodbye. That's just the way it works. Did someone... I'm sorry. No, I should just continue on with that commentary. Oh, okay. Alright. I'm going to say goodbye to her. All of her comments are gone. That's a shame. I think we're looking good, man. All right. That's a cool reaction. Yeah. I can't even see a single sign of corrosion anymore. That's awesome. Yeah, check it out. He doesn't see any uh, corrosion anymore, everybody. That's awesome. Do you? Uh, what is uh, that? Just the stuff for the around the chip, right? Yeah, that's your awesome. temperature. Temperature. Uh, it looks great. Looks great. Okay. Well, the proof will be in the pudding. <laughs> yeah. All right. Someday I'll get some good lighting in here. That's what I tell all my all my YouTubers. Okay. Okay, and then I had another strip right here that came off. The John side. says, this reminds me of the days of manual soldering. Oh, my God. Huh? All that flux. Um, oh, man, the flux, the rosin, that smell, the gack all over your hands. So what there. was that? That's uh, propyl alcohol or what? Isopropyl alcohol, Isopropyl yeah. Isopropyl alcohol. It's, it's the 91%. You want to try to have uh, the highest percentage so you have the least amount of water. Okay. Um, all right. Nice.
IPA. Yeah, yeah, ice purple alcohol. Okay. Should I unplug this or should we keep it going? Oh, uh, no, I'm just, just okay. it's just so you can cool right. down. So everybody, the uh, laptop wasn't powering on, and uh, Nathan is uh, skilled at this type of thing, so he's uh, taking a look and uh, see if it'll power on. Not sure. And this is where we're at right now, so. We are not sure. We got our fingers crossed real hard until they're pink. <laughs> uh, there we go. Hey, Keys, the weather today is uh, decent. I was planning to go out there to, um, we have some overcast uh, clouds. Uh, we got, there are some areas of blue. I'm going to be going out there to SpaceX, most likely to do some video this morning or this afternoon. And, uh, but this is a priority, definitely. And um, Joseph had time, so uh, we're seeing if, uh, if it can be fixed. You know. Uh, if if this gets fixed, then that means I can live stream again with the remote camera and also just with a Nikon any any anytime anywhere. So, number one priority. Uh, this is kind of it, and uh, that's that's where we're at. Hey, Michael. Michael says I did some soldering recently. First time in 50 years. Felt like a kid again. <laughs> yeah, man. Got to keep up the skills. Got to keep it up. All of us. Like. Uh all of our little tricks and things that we learned when we were a kid were at wood shop doing wood shop i know we think all right well wood shop is something we did with our dads or whatever when we're growing up and a lot of things don't use wood anymore now we're doing advanced machining but man there is something about the simplicity of wood and being able to shape it and really get your creativity in there um but oh this doesn't even have a chip oh you don't have a you don't have a graphics chip okay yeah i get it Okay. I should get one, huh? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, okay. it's, uh, like they'll have, a for machines that are a little more expensive or powerful, like, than, or that are meant for gaming, you'll have a, you'll have a dedicated graphics, uh, -huh. uh chip. Is there space to add one later if I wanted to? No, it's, it's soldered oh, onto okay. the board. I got you. Okay. But anyways, keeping your, your little skills up, everyone's got to exercise that muscle. Douglas says this will definitely work. We'll see. I awesome. love that optimism. We need more of that every day. So maybe someday down the road we'll have a clean room and we'll have spacecraft and uh, Ocean Camera Space Corp drones that we're building here to go onto other moons and get that off-planet imagery of the uh, subsurface ocean on, um, on Enceladus or Europa, Titan, Ganymede, Celeste. There's 200 moons out there and we're getting ready to, to go out there and take that video imagery. So keep supporting the channel and um, uh, lend us your skills and any other input that you got. Okay, let's see if it'll boot without the battery. If you want to do that ocean cam mission yourself or with your company, um, uh, we're, we're in support of you doing that as well. We're not exclusive about wanting to do it ourselves. We just want it to get done. So we will support you in your mission out there to get that video imagery through your company. Uh, but, um, I, you know, we're also helping the world trying to do it as well. So uh, it, it, no one can really beat anyone else at doing it. It's more like a... Everybody's gonna win when this video imagery gets done. And oh uh, shit, dude! Look at that. There's power, right? That's a good thing, right? Hold on. <laughs> the screen just changed color. 
All right, we have. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> oh man! It turned on. But see, there's no memory, no hard drive, or nothing in it right now. So. <laughs> nice. Everybody, what that means is um, the we may be able to have a remote camera again, everybody, so without spending 500 bucks. So. But um, still, I'd like to get a second uh, laptop also, and that is on the GoFundMe page. I didn't recently, I didn't add a laptop onto that GoFundMe so that I could replace this. This was still working at that time. So we're going to get some more equipment, whether it's um, to, to have here on site at Ocean Cam or... Um, or to have it uh, at the remote camera site. Anyway, it's it's good to have two things, two computers. And um, so the, the the David says he should do this for your viewers. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know if you'd want to do this on the side or, do or what, teach uh, me how repair? to do it. Yeah. I do repairs. I do mobile device repair and, and laptop. I actually do commercial repair of all kinds. Um, if usually if it's If I were to have to charge Paul for this, it probably would not be worth the price of the laptop uh -huh. because of the amount of time and effort I have to put into it. Uh -huh. um, but I'm happy to help him out, <laughs> of course, and, and uh, this is no problem. But uh, a lot of times when it comes to like trying to recover precious data that people haven't, you know, and, and stuff like that, there's no price you can put on that. Uh -huh. So... Um, so yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll I can do it. I can I can certainly do it, and I've been able to pull off some pretty crazy stuff. But um, like it is all circumstantial. It's fourteen thousand subscribers. Maybe if someone wants to do it, we can do a commission or something. Yeah, no, that's that's <laughs> I'd, I'd be happy to help anybody out. Um, but I just let them know that sometimes this does take some time. So. Um, Joseph's a CTO here, but he has his own business as well. He's an uh, engineer. He does this for a living out, not necessarily right now, the uh, computer repair, but he's been uh, repairing all types of commercial, industrial type of machinery and equipment. So that's what he does full time in addition to uh, moonlighting here at Ocean Cam. And um, if you'd like to have something fixed, then uh, send us a message. And um, he was just saying it, it's going to, it can take some time, but if you have something you really need to get fixed, then. Um, um, it'll benefit Ocean Cam as well if uh, by bringing us business here. So yeah, absolutely. And uh, I, I don't mean to say that you know my I, I charge exorbitantly high rates for the kind of work I do. I just uh, mentioned if you can see the the, the the condition of this laptop. I mean it's kind of hanging by a thread. Yeah. And so to try to charge him more than a hundred dollars to do this repair simply wouldn't be worth it. You know I just I I, I couldn't I wouldn't feel I wouldn't feel right about doing that. Um, but Okay, we got a flashing light. It's detecting no battery, so okay. there is no battery in it. And oh, it's booting. Yeah, it's booting. <laughs> okay, it's booting, guys. Um, I can. Uh, I'll, I'll put in the password. See if it works. For just a minute. Yeah, it's 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 coming up. Oh shit! <laughs> so everybody, Joseph just fixed the laptop here, but I'm gonna. Um, Maybe uh, hold something in front of that so while I put the password in. Just oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Go for it. Now you got it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Look at that, everybody. <laughs> right on camera, first take. Ah, uh, yeah, guys. Ocean Cam is online, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Get so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the rest of this computer. We'll get it sealed up. Um, Someone says, get a bulletproof. Um, if you get a new one, more expensive but worth it. Okay. Yeah, those tough books. We'll go get a tough book, and it's it's awesome. Starship Trooper, everybody. Yeah, that's big news, everybody. Thanks, David. Martin. Martin says it took a long time to boot. Way too long, huh? But um. Oh yeah, this is a. It's like probably the lowest grade 
uh, yeah. processor you can get for this computer. It's just a it's just a web book, you know. Yeah, it's this. Not, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Paul. This is a $400 laptop from like um, four or five years ago. So. I believe it was. I bought it new when I was uh, doing something in um, a while back. I think. Maybe maybe I'm forgetting something, but I think this could even be maybe five, five six years old. In this laptop. DDR4, yeah, it's about it's about four years old. It says about four years old, everybody. Four five, yeah. Mm. yeah, Albert. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, back in business here with the Nikon camera. No SSD, says. Uh... No, it's got a an M1 uh, style a uh, hard drive in it, so it it just plugs directly into the board. Looks like we got. Oh, it's M2. Is that a Sirwin Vega speaker? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> yes, I am a Sirwin Vega fanatic. My entire family is. <laughs> and I will live and die by my speakers, man. I swear. My, my, my saying is before the roof comes the speakers. So, don't matter if you don't have a place to live, man. As long as you got your music, it's all you need. <laughs> yes, I'm crazy. It says M2. It says, uh, yeah, it's an M2. I was incorrect at first. Silica gel packs to absorb the condensation. Is, uh, thanks, John. Um, yeah, silica gel packs. Thanks. Where is the man? Let's try to get this number pad in here secured because I know it was just kind of flopping around. I'll use one of these extra screws. Even glue or something. You want me to end the stream here? We kind of did it. You want to end the stream and? Sure, it's, it's, it's up to you. Right. We still got some putting some pieces together okay. and stuff, but okay. we're Keep online. We're, we're ready to go. Okay. Everybody, I'm going to end it here. Um, Paul Mox, Ocean Camera Space Corp. Got the laptop going. That was big time, big time, everybody. And thank you, Joseph. And um, everybody, that's how it's done here. Um, and uh, some key points where the, the desktop here is, um, it's a wood desktop, so it doesn't conduct the electrical kind of stuff. So, you're, And uh, I'll let you do a summary as well. Um, he used isopropyl alcohol, 91%. He scrubbed the, uh, the the board and stuff. He knows what he's doing. He uh, used to do this for a living at Dell. And uh, he's done a lot of other stuff in his life as well. He's an engineer. Uh, if I were to do this, I would be afraid of like messing something up here. But uh, maybe some minor corrosion, I could just go ahead and scrub it with the toothbrush and stuff like that. Um, and then he used a heat gun to... Uh, dissolve some of the water from the isopropyl alcohol because it was uh, still nine nine percent. He said use the highest strength isopropyl or alcohol that you could get. Uh, we had ninety one percent, so there's nine percent water there. So he used the heat gun to dissolve the water. You want to let that sit there and um, and then it turned on. So uh, yeah, you got it. Yeah, I have no other. I have nothing else to add to that. I mean, you got it right on the money, dude. All right, everybody, I'm gonna sign out here probably do some streaming down there from SpaceX today and I did post a uh, I posted a link to something from the SpaceX media they uh, replied to, I I sent them an email this morning also just asking for the future to be added to the list and there was a a list uh, uh, I, I posted a link that they sent me after I sent them that that uh, follow-up email this morning and uh, so you too can go and subscribe to be on the SpaceX media alerts and uh, and be as notified as everybody else. So I think going forward, I will be attending or at least knowing about the things that I can participate in with SpaceX, and uh, and I'll be able to get that in-person footage that the other photographers got. Uh, yeah. So see you later, everybody. Thank you so much. And thanks. yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.